Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, I'm Lindsay, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my perfume collection. I am not sponsored by any of these perfume brands, I just have a lot of perfume and I thought that I would do a video showing all of them in case you're looking for a new perfume or you like certain scents because I have so many, I just want to share them with you guys. I have been collecting perfume for a very long time, so these are not something that like I bought recently, these are kind of just collected over the years and I just have way too much fragrance. I do have body sprays as well, I'll be sharing. Before I go into that video, I do want to mention this necklace is from baby cute and I will have their their website in the description box and you want to check this out and get 15% off with my code so that will be in the description box if you are interested in very sparkly necklaces and let's get right into the perfume video do hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos from me and thumbs up the video if you find it helpful or interesting it helps me out a ton if you thumbs up and check out all my social media in the description box I have my Instagram and my Twitter on there if you want to follow me on more platforms and let's get right into this video this is a shelf I keep all of my fragrances on this is all of my fancy perfumes and then up here I have all of my body sprays and some miniature fancy perfumes so I'll be going through all of them so I'm going to be starting off with my higher-end fragrances just to give this some kind of order and I so got some of these as gifts so I didn't purchase all of these a lot of uh, a lot of the times I will ask for fragrance for Christmas or for my birthday or something like that so I do have quite a bit so don't think I spend a bunch of money on fragrance because I really don't I will try to describe the sense of each one but I feel like I'm just not very good at describing things so please bear with me I will also just say like this smells like this to me describe the fragrance that it smells like in the jar though this is one of my favorite perfumes and this is called pink sugar and I think the brand is just called pink sugar it says made in Italy on the bottom uh, and this literally smells just like straight sugar not like cotton candy but just like pure like sugar <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it it's a very sweet scent and if you just like smelling like sweet sugar this is a really fun one I'm gonna go really fast through these since there is so many I don't want this to be a really long video but I got this at Ulta this next one is called Eternity Summer by Calvin Klein and this this smells so good it smells like summertime um, like kind of like a really fancy hotel mixed with sunscreen <laughs> it smells just very like fresh and a little bit not floral but just clean fresh and clean it's a very fresh and clean scent I really love this one it does I do only use this pretty much in summertime because it does smell like summer and they do have a men's one as well that like matches so it's really cute if you have a boyfriend and you want to get matching fragrances this is a great one this is another fragrance by Calvin Klein and this is called Calvin Klein 2 I know it's hard to see the name since it's clear and that was super cool since it like sits upside down in this little holder and yeah I just really like the way that they designed this one and this is also another really fresh scent this one does smell a little bit masculine to me even though it is a women's fragrance it does also smell really really clean and fresh kind of a little bit of a watery scent if that makes sense oceany but yeah this one's great and I got this I think at Ulta when I used to work there as well really awesome very clean scent that I feel like pretty much everyone would like this next one is from Marc Jacobs and this is called cucumber and it smells like cucumber <laughs> it smells really fresh and just like you have a cucumber water or something like that another really fresh summery scent I absolutely love this one this next one I got a really long time ago and I kind of grew out of the scent this one I maybe I just used it too much and that's why I'm kind of sick of it but it does smell really good and I know a lot of the people do get the pink version of this one but this is called Versace yellow diamond and this one is kind of weird I really don't know how this one smells but I did like it when I bought it and now that I've used like half of it I'm kind of sick of it maybe that's why I do get over scents pretty quickly so maybe that's why I just don't really love it anymore but I remember I used to love it so much I do love the packaging as well with the big yellow crystal on top this next one is from Mac and I remember I got this one as a gift and this is called Turquatic and this is a um, unisex fragrance so this is for men and women and this smells really really clean and fresh um, and this is supposed to smell like water like you just got out of the ocean or something like that and I feel like it has a bit of a foresty scent too like 
kind of watery, kind of foresty, fresh. Very, this one is very strong though. I feel like when I put it on, I put on a lot less than most of my other fragrances. And I love the packaging on this one too. It's very, very pretty. This next one is another old scent that I'm kind of sick of because I've used almost half of it. And this is from Giorgio Armani and it's called Aqua de Joya. This is the OG scent. This is a very like classic scent and this is very, very strong. And it does sm smell very fresh and watery. Pretty similar to the MAC Turquatic but just a little bit different and this is the women's version they have a men's version as well these next two came in a scent and I think I actually got these in Marshalls or something like that uh, but they do sell them at like Macy's I've seen them before and this is the Katy Perry Killer Queen and this comes in a really cool red diamond bottle with a crown on the top and it came with a little miniature one which is awesome because this is great for like your purse or for traveling just absolutely love the mini versions of fragrances that aren't just a roller ball, but like a spray that's a mini. Super cute. And this one smells very, very classic perfume. A little bit of blackberry in there for sure. Kind of berry-ish, but definitely just like a straight perfumey scent. <laughs> I'm not really good at knowing undertones of things, but this is really, really nice. I really like this. This one I've had for quite a long time. I think I did buy this, or maybe somebody bought it for me for Christmas. But this is Chance by Chanel, and this is a very young smelling scent. I feel like teenage girls would love this one. It's a very like youthful, like fresh a little bit floral scent like like I said youthful like kind of younger girl kind of a, a fragrance and it's I like the bottle that they do for this one it has mirrors on the side it's just very sleek and fancy and Chanel always has great fragrances this next one is also by Chanel and this is Coco Mademoiselle this one is I feel like for more mature ladies but at the same time I wear it and I'm 25 so I, I love this one this one smells very um, like you're going to a dinner party or going to a fancy event kind of a perfume. I'm not really sure how to describe this one either, but Chanel has those fragrances that have so many different undertones to them that it's hard to like pinpoint one scent. But this one is great. I, I love this one. I probably wouldn't have liked this when I was younger, but I absolutely love it now. And also, like I said before, Chanel always coming through with amazing perfumes. Next one is also one of my faves. I reach for this quite a bit. Um, I don't see the name on it, but I know it's from Lancome. Uh, it's called, oh, La Vie Abel. It's from Lancome, and this to me smells like blackberries, and probably maybe some type of wood as well, maybe. I'm just guessing here, but yeah, this is... This definitely smells like blackberry to me for some reason, and the packaging is really, really cool. This one I think I got at Marshall's, and this is Live Colorfully by Kate Spade. And this smells like, I'm, I don't, this might be a bad thing to some people, but this to me smells kind of like sunscreen or suntan lotion, but in a good way. <laughs> like the good smelling sunscreen suntan lotion. And it just smells very summery and very fresh. Next one is from Britney Spears and it's called Prerogative. I think this is her newest fragrance. This one is a, a unisex fragrance as well. And it just smells very Britney Spears. I really don't know how to describe it. It smells very um, like sensual, very uh, like like a type of perfume you'd wear to a club or something like that. I, if Britney Smears had a scent, this is probably what I would imagine she smells like. <laughs> and the packaging is super cute on this one. It's black with the pink and the um, branding on the top. And then I also have the uh, Britney Spears Circus Perfume. And I think this is the small version of it. And this one smells like a circus. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm so bad at describing things, you guys. It smells more fresh than the other one. This is more of like a daytime perfume for sure. Uh, I don't know what it smells like though, I'm so sorry, but if you're ever in like uh, Kohl's or Macy's, smell this, it's really yummy. This next one I think you can get at Walmart or most places. This is Villain by Ed Hardy, and this is a very, very strong fragrance. I don't wear this very often, as you can see, it's quite full still, but it is, and you get a lot, like, I don't think these are very expensive and you get a very big container. I think this is the 3.4, I'm pretty sure. A 4.2 fluid ounces actually so this is a very large fragrance and villain I think it just smells very classic like almost musty 
kind of fragrance. My nose is kind of going numb after smelling all of these. Yeah, this is probably something I would wear if I had a new boyfriend. <laughs> this is like one of those scents that you can throw on and it always smells good and always goes with like every outfit if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, very classic, strong fragrance. This next one I got at Marshalls and it literally has no like name on it. So maybe the brand is called Emerald Palms. I, I don't know, but I'm sorry I don't know the brand name on this. I don't see one on the back or anything. But this one actually says what it's supposed to smell like. <laughs> so Emerald Palms, it smells very fresh, very foresty. Emerald Palms infuses black tea leaves and nostalgic romance of rose and pure sandalwood. So I don't really smell rose or pure sandalwood. I just smell palm tree. But yeah, I like this one. It's fresh and I think it was $12.99. So I can't beat it. Next one is Princess Fire Wang. <laughs> and this is a really cool fragrance because the top of it comes off and it's a ring. How cool is that? You get two rings with this fragrance and it is a really neat bottle because it's heart shaped. It's also like a diamond shape on the back as you can see. It's really really neat how they packaged this one. Um, but yeah it's kind of like a purpley clear type of fragrance to me. It's a very princessy smelling perfume. It smells uh, very light and um, a little bit floral but not too floral. I'm not a big floral person when it comes to fragrances. I don't like flowers. It almost smells a bit like alcohol. Like I know I know there's alcohol in the fragrances, but like brandy smells kind of. I think that's the name of the the alcohol. It smells kind of alcoholish, but not in a bad way and then mixed with a little floral. Very light, very youthful, just like the Chanel um fragrance I showed you earlier so if you want a younger smelling scent this is a really good one next one is Vince Camuto and it's F Femi Femi I'm not sure uh, it comes in a really cool package got this one at Marshall's too I think so I think I got this probably for 16 or 17 dollars and the packaging is really cool with the emblem in the middle this one smells kind of smells like lush if you've ever been into a lush store this smells like lush I don't know if that describes the scent at all. This next one is a Juicy Couture fragrance, but I have no idea what the name is. Um, yeah, and it doesn't say, so I don't know the name of this, but it's a Juicy Couture fragrance, and I know it's one of their older ones. I think it smells very Juicy Couture-ish. A little bit of sandalwood, I think. Very strong, uh, yeah. Don't know. Don't know what else this smells like. For sure a little bit of a woody, wood, woodsy smell and mixed with old lady smell, but somehow in a good way. Called Very Cool by Tommy Bahama. And this is another water smelling fragrance. I feel like a lot of the fragrances I go for are either light and fresh or watery or smell like berries. So this is another water smelling fragrance very similar to the Turquatic and the Aqua de Joya. So this next half is going to be my body sprays, my cheaper fragrances, my body oils or fragrance oils, whichever you want, want to call them. Um, so yeah, these are going to be the more inexpensive ones I got from like Victoria's Secret or Walmart or uh, Body, the Body Shop or Bath and Body Works, those kinds of things. This first one is called Beautiful Day by Bath and Body Works and this is a body spray. The good thing about these is that you get a lot for really cheap, but they don't last very long like fragrance, actual fragrances do. It smells very sunshiny, very like fresh grass, um, a little bit of floral. A little bit of apple I think too. Uh, this one is just really really summery. I like this one a lot. I try not to buy too many like Bath and Body Works ones because I know that they don't last very long um, once you put them on. Next one is from Bath and Body Works and this is called London Tulips and Raspberry Tea which describes the type of fragrance it is. And this one does smell a little floral but it definitely does smell like raspberry tea I really really like that part of it and so that's why I bought this one next one I found I think at Walmart and I just happened to smell it and I really really liked it and this is from Hawaiian Tropic which I didn't even know that they made fragrances I thought that they just made like tanning oils and stuff 
but this is a tropical oasis fragrance mist and it says island coconut and raspberry sorbet so that's what this one smells like I absolutely love this I feel like if you're going to the beach or the lake this is an amazing fragrance for that this one is from Bodycology and you can find this at Walmart or any like big store and this is the sweet and cotton candy fragrance and that describes exactly what it smells like I use this a lot as you can see <laughs> next one is from Pacifica and this is Indian coconut nectar and I really like this because it smells kind of like vanilla coconut and this is I like this brand because they don't use uh, like fake fragrances to fragrance their fragrances it's like oils that they use and like actual fragrances from plants which is not going to give you cancer like the other fragrances I have will <laughs> So I really really love this brand. So this is the big version I have of this one. I also have this small version of the Island Vanilla Pacifica and this smells so good and I, this is a great size to keep in your purse. This is uh, Island Vanilla but it has like uh, just a very warm vanilla scent. It smells so so good. It's, it's like one of my favorite fragrances out of everything which is so strange but yeah very very nice the island vanilla is my favorite these next two fragrances i ordered because i was looking for a grape scented fragrance because i love grape and i could not find one anywhere so this brand called okay uh okay fragrance i finally found online and i ordered it so i got the exhilarating grape fragrance from them and the watermelon paradise and that's exactly what they smell like grape and watermelon next two are from victoria's secret and this is love spell I really don't think I need to say anything about this one. If you don't have this fragrance, why are you watching this video? <laughs> then I have the Small Pure Seduction by Victoria's Secret. And this one smells really, really good. I feel like it's similar to the Love Spell, but it just has more of a kind of maybe berry. Um, leaning towards more berry-ish than the Love Spell, but it is very similar. These are all from Bath & Body Works, but they're a different collection. These are the glitter fragrances, so they are fragranced, but they have uh, shimmer in them, I guess I should say. They're sh shimmery. Uh, and uh, this one is Snowy Morning, and it just smells kind of fresh. I'm not really sure how to describe this one. And then the other two I have are both vanilla. They're just different types of vanilla, but they smell, they smell essentially the same. Uh, one is warm vanilla sugar and then vanilla bean noel. And I love to use these when I am going to the beach or the lake because it's nice to look shimmery, especially when you have a tan. And this one, I, I really, really like this one. I use this only during autumn, uh, during Halloween. And this is called Salted Caramel Apricot. And it just smells so like fall, so Halloween-y. It smells kind of like when you're walking across leaves that are all dried up, that like fresh like autumn scent. Oh, it's so good. I love this one. This is from The Body Shop and I have two fragrances from The Body Shop. This is the Strawberry Body Mist and it smells like strawberry. And then I have the Satsuma one, which smells like clementine or oranges. Oh, it's so fresh and it smells so good. I absolutely love those two. Glide. I have one more from the body shop. This is called White Musk and it smells like musk. And I don't like a lot of musk scents, but this one just really kind of like a fresh musky smell. So that's the only reason I liked it. And oh, I have one more fruit from Victoria's Secret. This is called Melon Sorbet. I don't know why this is called this. I got this online expecting it to smell like melon. It does not. It doesn't smell like melon. It just smells like like summery but it doesn't smell like melon to me so I don't know why they called it that and I don't know why they have watermelon on it because it doesn't smell like watermelon to me but I don't know maybe my nose is broken <laughs> as another Pacifica one uh, I didn't know I, I thought they, they only came in plastic bottles but this is the French lilac fragrance from Pacifica and it does smell very lilac-y very very floral a little bit like gardenia to me too but I really like this one and I'm surprised I do because it is quite floral. This one I got at uh, Ulta when I was working there. It's called Eau de Martinez Cologne. And it was in the women's section so I'm not sure why it's called Cologne. But it does describe exactly what it smells like. <laughs> it says orange, citrus, um, cedar, and citron, and basil. So that's what this one smells like. Uh, it has a very unique scent to it, but it is very fresh. 
and I feel like a man could wear this but it also I feel like leans very fresh so I feel like this probably is a unisex fragrance as well it wasn't too expensive I really really love this I feel like it's great if you're in sandals going to dinner that's what this smells like to me it's three I never use I just have them out because I think they're super cute and I got them at Hot Topic I don't actually really like the fragrance itself I I don't know Hot Topic just isn't my favorite for perfume but I just really like the way that they looked so these are the super cute little skull fragrances and they're roller balls so they're not spray they roll on and they have a pink chrome that rainbow one you saw and then a black one with diamond eyes uh, I just thought these were cute and they were super super cheap so this one I got at like a cute little hippie sh hippie store and this is a perfume oil so you roll it on and it is vanilla so that is really cool I like oils because I feel like they last quite a long time since you are like actually physically rubbing something in uh, I just rub it on like my wrists and sometimes my chest or my neck and I, I love finding cute little stores unique stores to support three fragrance oils are from a store I found in Newport Oregon and this store was so cool because it was all Egyptian themed so like everything they sold was Egyptian and I absolutely love Egyptian stuff so I got these fragrance oils and one of them is called Secret of Nerfiti and they're cute little tiny oil droppers and then this one's called Goddess Blend and then this is called Neroli ne Neroli I think <laughs> and um, I think one of them smells like sandalwood another one's kind of vanilla-y they're really awesome I absolutely love them it's really hard for me to describe what they smell like because they smell like a lot but I think that they made them at that store so you can't order those but it is really cool just to go into like little local stores and find fragrances that are locally made next fragrance you guys have seen before because this is from Scentbird they sent me this when I did a video with them but this is the uh, same Kate Spade yeah, this is the same Kate Spade fragrance that I have in the big bottle, but I got this scent this from uh, Scentbird. And this next one isn't a fragrance, but I thought I would mention it because it's such a cool thing to have. This is called Flow, and it is a portable fragrance holder I so this is great for your purse because it has a cap so it's not going to like hit something and spray or spill or anything like that and you just unscrew it from one side um, take your other like whatever fragrance you want and then you squirt it in however many times you want to fill it up and then screw the lid back on and there you have your amazing expensive fragrance to go one I almost forgot about because I do keep it in my purse but this is the body fantasies vanilla fragrance and this is quite similar to the Pacifica vanilla one but I bought this because it was on sale and I just grabbed it without even smelling it and I do like this one better but this is just a great like cheap I need fragrance now kind of a fragrance okay guys that is all of my fragrances there are so many I I'm really happy if you watch this whole video because it's probably going to be really long. But yeah, that is all of my fragrances, body sprays, body oils, everything. I hope you guys found something here that you can maybe order online or check out in store and go smell it before you purchase it. But I think fragrance is such a fun way to have a pick-me-up during the middle of the day when you're feeling kind of meh or just making yourself feel good when you're not wearing makeup or whatever I really hope you guys enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you have any of these fragrances and if you do what you think about them or let me know what fragrance you thought had the best packaging I want to know what you guys think so let me know in the comments below what you thought about everything please do hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel check out all my social media in the description box I have my Instagram and my Twitter on there where I post or try to post daily I hope this video was interesting to you guys and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys